Oh, that's a nice color. Wait, what's the extreme the other way? <laughs> um, I I kind of like that. Oh, I can't see the background though. Ooh, that's a nice one. <clears throat> Check out that clavicle. Yep. I can't even see my ears. Ooh, hair. <gasps> Hair color? Oh my god, you're not gonna give me a good hair color. I've gotta be ginger, haven't I? Hey, Luke. Is it the same colors as <clears throat> my today? I am doing uh, a lot better now, actually. For streaming right here. Thank you for asking. Hopefully, you're doing well. I feel like tying it back might be the best. <clears throat> Choker is cute and all, but is it really a good idea to wear something which an enemy could actually choke you? So when she, she goes a bit, you know, too wild, you can just attack, uh, attack? attach a, a leash to it. Go with the short. Skin. Hold on. Well, that's the thing, there's nothing like you're absolutely peely wily at the moment. I can't get any lighter. Why does it have to be blush? There we go. I'm going for the reflective. So when there's sunlight, if there's sunlight, we can be a beacon of light and blind everything as it bounces off our skin and blinds the enemies. I know, yeah. Wait, is it supposed to be an age thing? Is that what they mean? At that point, I've just been battered. This, is, this, you know, this GBH has happened. It's not old age. Someone just punched me in the eyes. It's off. Aging is a bitch in this universe. Yeah. These are tattoos. 
Here, would you like a castle wall on your face? Or a tower, perhaps? An eye tower? I feel like this is part of the map, right? So you've got multiple people from the same, you know, the same clan or whatever, and they all have different parts of the tattoo on their face, and you need all of them put together to find out where the treasure is hidden. Uh, makeup as a warrior in the Middle Ages. <clears throat> yeah, the makeup. I can understand the tattoos. The makeup, unless it's like war paint. <laughs> Weird version of Pig Rings 2. I think, Kenobi. I like having some weird QR code in my face. I know, the eyeliner and blush. Nah, you, you ain't gonna get a tattoo. Holy shit, imagine tattooing. I don't even know if that's the thing. I hope people get the eyeballs tattooed. I don't know if like the eyelids are a thing or not. <sighs> no, no, she she has no interest in any um electronic things. I just need to keep my controllers away from her because she has her own toy controllers. I've done eyelids before. Ooh. <laughs> nope, don't like the idea of that one. Uh, first of all, the only stuff they had was even close to. No, um, that even close was like coloured dirt, uh, ochre, and shit. Second of all, it's entirely pointless. If what you do is kill people, what are you gonna do? Lock eyes with enemy and seduce them and <laughs> not stabbing you? I mean, maybe, maybe you're like undercover assassin. Nose. Hey, down the hair, the eyes. I, I like that startled look. That's the whole... You're staring intently at someone, right? A face off. You're just staring at them with your eyes wide and... Uh, that's the... I will, I will make you look away. Oh, <laughs> those headlights were bright. Does that do anything? Oh my god, I made them tiny. <laughs> it looks worse when they're smaller than they do. Yeah, she's she's anime, right? We're going with anime. Uh I was surprised they Maybe I can't tell the colour. <clears throat> Let's see. Usually green, isn't it? Yep, here's a Google search for you. Common eye colour for gingers. <clears throat> Brown, hazel, or green. <sighs> Hmm. 
<laughs> I told you this was a JRPG. Oh. Yep, huge fucking eyeballs and we look. Uh huh. Ruth's doing some shit. Character, yeah, the character portrait. I had to. I had to! Wait, which one's. Is that a dark brown? That one. No. Do that one. Why am I like this? Uh, I don't think they delay that for a passport photo. Identify you by a neck, I know. Wait, wait, why is bro depth, right? Affecting my hairline. Oh! Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was what it was in. Let's keep it standard. <clears throat> Nose. Can you feel like a dwarf has got like that, but not quite as bad as that? <clears throat> Front lobe size, there's a barbarian, right? So none. We've got a warrior, but no, I don't know where we're going after that because you can take them to what Templar Berserker? I don't think I can change that. Then it's just gonna it starts looking mm -mm. A classic boob armor. And a little dimple in the middle of her face. Oh, wait, anime girls have tiny noses, that's just science? <clears throat> Mouth. Uh. That's probably fine. I have turned into a chipmunk. Okay. I know you see a V. Yeah, it's probably some more right there. Oh, neck and the ears. Shit. 
Jesus. I love how they have the choker for like fitting the biggest neck. Maybe not. I can go over there, aren't you? That's not so bad. Okay, uh, I've done the voice. Went with a violent voice. Our our portrait. We're good with that. We're going with a clavicle look. <laughs> Rise eyes bigger than the mouth and chin. You can't chop her head off if you try it. I know. Like a good few hits. Connect. <laughs> the length of the arms. No. Oh. Why am I like this? What's going on? Right, so <clears throat> we are, let's see. Right, um... Uh, oh, you're like, how your neck is ridiculous, you can't even reach around it with both hands. <laughs> Autoerotic asphyxiation a real hassle. Touch the grounds. Yeah. Well, here, regardless of what race you go with, the arm length seems to be the same. Okay, so, uh... We have attributes. We've got five to spend. Strength. It measures character's physical prowess. It directly affects the damage a character deals in physical combat, as opposed to mental combat. It also contributes to the accuracy of melee attacks. High strength is essential for warriors, in particular if they wish to wield two-handed weapons, and is nearly as critical for rogues. Dexterity is a measure of agility, reflexes, and balance. I mean, I'm short, so... I shouldn't have too much wobble issue going on. <clears throat> Her enemies hear a distinctive noise or knuckles scraping along the ground. Well, here's the thing. I could be great at taking out enemies just by going for their knees. See if I stood in place and like span around really fast. I just tornado them away through the enemies. I mean, I can I can have a sword in each hand, and I'm I'm just cutting them down by the knees at that point. So they better have good leg armor. They're going up against <laughs> this uh, this one. <clears throat> no, not cunning. Uh, okay, do 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 do. Higher dexterity improves chances uh, to hit. But I thought. Wait. So, what's the difference between the accuracy of melee attacks and chances to hit? Is that not accuracy as well? Do they both contribute to it? Yeah, high dexterity improves the character's chances to hit, making the characters more likely. Oh, to dodge. Uh, incoming blows and contributes to the damage dealt by piercing weapons and daggers or arrows. Archery and dual weapon fighting styles demand high dexterity. Master making this attribute a favorite for rogues. Now we we do get dexterity as I think both our the warrior 
and one added in for race. Interest during weapons? Why does Warrior get some added in? Well, but then there are, what, three or four then, like, classes I can go towards, can't I? So it's probably dodging and chances to hit them. <clears throat> Willpower. Metal fortitude. I I won't be putting any points in this, I don't think. I'll, I'll have a look at it. Uh, it represents characters' determination and mental fortitude. High willpower mages can cast more spells thanks to a deeper mana pool. Warriors and rogues' willpower grants more. St oh, more stamina? Of course. Of course, they're gonna have something which they're like, well, you might as well use it. That's not fair. So, a mage technically doesn't need strength. Technically doesn't need dexterity. Spells shouldn't be governed by a agility reflex thing. Um, but as as a, a physical damage dealer, you kind of do need willpower, which is rubbish. Hmm. Combat techniques and special attacks. Magic. Okay. Oh fuck off. Measure of a character's natural affinity for arcane attribute is crucial for mages since it directly increases a character's spell power score. Determines the potency of soft spells. The magic attribute also determines how effective potions, potencies, and salves are for all classes. Wait, so if you're a mage, you only need two. If you're anything else, you need all your fucking stats. Fuck you, game. Um. Okay, cunning determines. Well, a character learns and reasons. Most skills such as herbalism or combat tactics require a quick mind to master. Or get a healer! Oh wait, it's a win, isn't it? Is it win? No. Let them fuck all the magic. True. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, a uh, quick mind to master and an observant eye can more easily find weaknesses in enemy armour. Rogues benefit most from the statistic. It is mainly of their class abilities, the mission attack, rely on subtlety, or reading the target, not raw strength. Constitution. Health and resilience. Ah, higher constitution directly increases the amount of damage a character can take from falling in the battlefield. Well, I think we'll get another one of those. One for each of those. You know what, I'm going to get one for willpower, the stamina stuff. And maybe another strength? Oh, I didn't realise it went straight to it. Shit, okay. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, coercion, influential enough to convince others in change of views. Strength contributes to a more intimidating character. Whereas cunning contributes to more persuasive character. Charm everybody? No! Stealing. Wait, that's activated already? We went with warrior, we didn't go with rogue. That, I, I, mm, okay. That for making. Uh. Wow, how much requires cunning? Shit. Poison making. Combat training. Oh, I already have one. Well, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. So we have that. So trap making. We to construct basic traps and lure out common components. To weak swing a dagger 
and uh, dexterous is an inbred elephant. By golly, she can solve some <laughs> the equation in her sleep. Character can detect presence nearby enemy uh, creatures below the character's own level. The skull also grants them a bonus to nature resistance. Herbalism uh, makes simple potions, poultices, and cells from common herbs. The character survives the difficult learning process of making simple poisons and grenades. Oh, jeez, I did not see that at all. Why did I change it to inbred? Inebriated. Uh, combat training. So we have the first level, maybe the second. Characters complete basic combat training. Warriors and rogues gain access to first tier weapon talents. Mages can take more damage from an attack before interrupting their spellcasting. Uh, gain access to second tier weapon talents, as well as a bonus to stamina regeneration. Ooh, mages can take more damage. Combat attack. Tactics. Passive character can formulate strategies quickly in battle and consequently gains a combat tactic slot. Uh, oh no. I'm thinking either. Well, maybe coercion. To start with. Because I don't know what we'll come up against. Because I, I already have access to the first year weapon talents, so that's fine. Maybe I could do that the next one. Um, or you go to combat tactics. <laughs> I made that many incest jokes. Like, oh, here someone goes again with entry jokes. Oh no. Wait, a strong mage build? Uh, all strength, but battle mage. No, battle mage doesn't work. You know why? Because. You then split your stuff between magic and strength. Instead of having it all in one thing. Okay, Divinity Original Sin. I've got um, Beast, who's the Scottish Dwarf. And I had him somehow be a battle mage. He's dual wielding. But because he's a battle mage and he's got spells, <laughs> Dual wielding applies to the wands, and I can, like, you know, have a wand in each hand. Great. So he's got, like, double the amount of things I can put points into. And it almost always ends up being an interesting order, or just a hint of crappy magic on the side. I, I've kind of. Well, it, it, it was going to go like that, but then. I kind of ended up focusing more on magic for ranged. If you aren't in maximum magic, you're too squishy to do anything. Well, the only reason I've got strength is so we can wear armor. Which is more physical to it. <clears throat> oh, I think coercion then. Oh, maybe, maybe. We can intimidate people. Yeah, we'll go with that. So once I want to focus on coercion. That eventually, combat tactics to get the extra thing. And sweet talk when we throw anything. Uh, why am I dual wielding? No, is that what I've got access to? Wait, what? Oh, double battle axes? Maybe. I wasn't aware that. Done. Do -do -do. 